Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this homemade pizza sauce recipe. To make your own sauce at home in minutes, with just a few pantry staples, you can use it now or freeze for later. To start with, we are going to need some fresh tomatoes and I'm going to start by creating an incision at the top of the tomatoes. I'm going to make an X, cut an X on the tomatoes just the way I'm doing it here. The reason for this is to make it easy for us to peel the outer layer of the tomatoes easily. Now. We're going to boil those tomatoes for three minutes. It's three minutes now. I've removed the tomatoes from the pot. So I'm going to share these tomatoes into two parts. One side I'm going to blend and the other side I'm going to deseed, as in I'm going to remove the seeds from the tomatoes. I'm now going to peel the outer layer of this part of these tomatoes and cut them into very tiny chops as much as I can to uh, like a mushy kind of way. There was no seed in these tomatoes, that was why I had to leave it. This is what it looks like after much chopping is now all mashed up and this is what it should look like. Here yeah, I'm going to heat the olive oil in a saucepan over medium heat. Then I'm going to add some minced garlic to it until it is fragrant. Then I'll add some onions to it and stir all together for like one minute. At this point, I'll start adding the chopped mashed tomatoes and then I'm going to add some fresh basil leaves.
Now I'll add the blended tomatoes and then some little tomato paste. If you have stayed up to this end, smash the like button please and subscribe for more recipes like this. We're now going to stir well to combine everything together. I will be adding some oregano, salt and black pepper to this pizza sauce. I'm now going to stir all the ingredients together and then you cover and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Occasionally, we'll be stirring it so it doesn't get burnt. Also, at this point, we can taste to adjust the seasoning to our own preference. After 10 minutes, our pizza sauce is ready and this is what it should look like. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in my next video and for those that have subscribed thank you so so much for subscribing and for those that have not subscribed please subscribe thanks and cheers